Chapter 9 And Jehovah speaketh unto Moses in the wilderness of Sinai, in the second year of their going out of the land of Egypt, in the first month, saying, Also the sons of Israel prepare the Passover in its appointed season, in the fourteenth day of this month between the evenings ye prepare it in its appointed season according to all its statutes and according to all its ordinances ye prepare it and moses speaketh unto the sons of israel to prepare the passover and they prepare the passover in the first month on the fourteenth day of the month between the evenings in the wilderness of sinai according to all that jehovah hath commanded moses so have the sons of israel done and there are men who have been defiled by the body of a man, and they have not been able to prepare the Passover on that day, and they come near before Moses and before Aaron on that day. And those men say unto them, We are defiled by the body of a man. Why are we withheld so as not to bring near the offering of Jehovah in its appointed season, in the midst of the sons of Israel? And Moses saith unto them, Stand ye, and I hear what Jehovah hath commanded concerning you. And Jehovah speaketh unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the sons of Israel, saying, Though any man is unclean by a body, or in a distant journey, of you or of your generations, yet he hath prepared a Passover to Jehovah in the second month, on the fourteenth day between the evenings they prepare it, with unleavened and bitter things they eat it, they do not leave of till morning, and a bone they do not break in it, according to all the statute of the Passover they prepare it. And the man who is clean, and hath not been on a journey, and hath ceased to prepare the Passover, even that person hath been cut off from his people, because the offering of Jehovah he hath not brought near in its appointed season, that man doth bear his sin. And when a sojourner sojourneth with you, then he hath prepared a Passover to Jehovah, according to the statute of the Passover, and according to its ordinance, so he doth. One statute is to you, even to a sojourner, and to a native of the land. And in the day of the raising up of the tabernacle, hath the cloud covered the tabernacle, even the tent of the testimony. And in the evening there is on the tabernacle as an appearance of fire till morning. So it is continually. The cloud covereth it, also the appearance of fire by night. And according to the going up of the cloud from off the tent and afterwards do the sons of Israel journey, and in the place where the cloud doth tabernacle, there do the sons of Israel encamp. By the command of Jehovah the sons of Israel journey, and by the command of Jehovah they encamp. All the days that the cloud doth tabernacle over the tabernacle, they encamp. And in the cloud prolonging itself over the tabernacle many days, then have the sons of Israel kept the charge of Jehovah, and journey not. And so when the cloud is a number of days over the tabernacle, by the command of Jehovah they encamp, and by the command of Jehovah they journey. And so when the cloud is from evening till morning, when the cloud hath gone up in the morning, then they have journeyed, whether by day or by night, when the cloud hath gone up, then they have journeyed. Whether two days, or a month, or days, in the cloud prolonging itself over the tabernacle, to tabernacle over it, the sons of Israel encamp, and journey not and in its being lifted up, they journey. By the command of Jehovah they encamp, and by the command of Jehovah they journey. The charge of Jehovah they have kept, by the command of Jehovah, in the hand of Moses.